Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we are told that the equation 2x squared minus 6x plus, plus 2y squared plus 2y equals 45 is the graph of a circle. So we want to find the radius of the circle. So you want to get it into the form x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And in this form, hk is the center of the circle, and r is the radius. So how do we find this? Well, first we have, in these um, square binomial terms, x doesn't have a coefficient on it. So what we want to do is we want to get these x's, or these, these x squareds alone. So if we divide everything by 2, on both sides, don't forget the 45, we have 2x squared, 2y squared, and 2y. So in all these terms, the 2's just cancel. So we have x squared minus 6 over 2 is 3x plus y squared plus y. Again, these three terms, the 2's just cancel, is equal to 45 divided by 2 is 22 and a half. So now we have a situation where we can complete the square for x and for y. So we're going to have x squared minus 3x plus some number plus y squared plus y plus some number is equal to 22 and a half. And then to keep things equal, we have to add the same amount to both sides. Okay, so how do you complete the square? Well, when your x squared term has a coefficient of 1, the way to find this number is you divide the middle number by 2. So for x, it's negative 3 divided by 2, and then we square it. So, negative 3 over 2 squared, well, negative 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, so the square is 9 over 4. So we have x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4. Then we have y squared plus y, so the middle term is a 1, so we have 1 over 2, right? You take half of the middle term and then square it. 1 squared is 1 over 2 squared is 4, so plus 1 fourth. And then on this side, we have to add the same amounts, keep the equation equal. So we have another plus 9 fourths plus 1 fourth. So we want to get this into the um, form x minus something squared. And in this situation, we have the 9 fourths. We can think of that as when you expand this, x minus h squared is equal to x squared minus 2xh plus h squared. So this 9 fourths is equal to h squared. So the constant squared is going to be equal to 9 fourths. Well, what is the square root of 9 fourths? Well, to find 9 fourths, we had to have to actually, we had to square negative 3 halves. So that's going to be our thing right here. So x minus 3 halves squared is going to come out to x squared minus 3 half, minus 3x plus 9 fourths. And then plus y squared plus y plus 1 fourth, similar thing, the constant k right here we're just going to grab from right here. So y, and then in this case, we have to have plus 1 half. And then this is equal to 22 and a half. And then we have this here. We have 9 fourths plus 1 fourth. So they have the same denominator. So we add the numerators to get plus 10 fourths. And then we're just going to keep this the same. This is equal to 22 and a half plus 10 divided by 4 if we divide both sides by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Again, we're not touching the other side. We're not, we don't even have to worry about it because we're already in the right form. So we have 22 and a half, and then plus 5 over 2 is equal to 2 and a half. So 22 and a half plus 2 and a half is 25. So rewriting this, again, we didn't change it in these last couple of lines, which is why I didn't write it. We have x minus 3 halves squared plus y plus 1 half squared. We're asked for the radius of the circle. So if we look back to our original form, we have r squared over here, 25 over here. So r squared is equal to 25. And then if you take the square root, then we get the plus or minus r is equal to the square root of 25 is 5. r is equal to plus or minus 5. And again, we have to do the plus or minus because if r is negative, then the square root of r squared is negative r. So the square root of negative 4 squared is the square root of 16, which is 4, which is negative negative 4. So negative r, because negative 4 was r. So in this equation, 
r is equal to plus or minus 5. However, this is a physical amount. The radius of a circle is a distance, and a distance cannot be negative. So r must be equal to positive 5, which means a is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.